People who live in Minneapolis got to weigh in on a new position that will oversee public safety. Dr. Cedric Alexander is Mayor Jacob Fry's pick to be the city's first community safety commissioner. The city council needs to confirm his nomination. But as Caroline Cummings reports, residents took the moment to speak out against crime in the city. As Minneapolis grapples with crime, the pleas for something to change, for solutions, were front and center during a public hearing at City Hall. Community leader Lisa Clemens, founder of A Mother's Love, said she witnessed a shootout in North Minneapolis just hours before. I couldn't even get my car turned around to get out of there with my kids in the car. Okay, let's be real about what's happening in the street. At the center of the conversation, the nomination of Dr. Cedric Alexander to serve as a key public safety leader in a city where crime is up and staffing for 911 and the police department is down. He recognizes the work before him is a tall order. No, I'm not God. I'm not Batman. I'm not going to be the guy that saves the community in and of itself by myself. It's really going to take all of us to be able to do that. If his appointment is approved by the Minneapolis City Council, he'd be the highest paid employee in City Hall. That salary, $300,000, sparking concern for some. I don't think he deserves the amount that we are offering him. If you want that, that type of money, you need to earn it. But most people who spoke during the public hearing Tuesday welcomed Alexander to Minneapolis and urged the city council to sign off on his job. He's a 40-year veteran of law enforcement who would be the first person to serve in this new position. I know he has the experience to turn our city around. I don't think that we will find someone of his caliber who can take on the task that is at hand, which is helping to transform a police department. In Minneapolis, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. A uh, council committee today approved his nomination, and that'll lead to a formal vote in the, with the full city council on Thursday.